the ever so illustrious question of when alt season is what we're about to address today. And with that in mind, I do want to welcome you back to Elliot Trade's channel. I'm host crowned today with some good old tentacle analysis. We are squids and octopuses in this whole sea of cryptocurrency and it rhymes. So you know that it's true. Anyways, with that said, I do want to address one thing first and foremost here before we get into the fun stuff addressing uh, perhaps an altcoin season, which relates to yesterday's video, as we were following up on the leverage ratios here, and we do start to see them finally come down, which is good. And we're actually going to address something right off the bat here. Could we potentially see a bear trap at these levels, or is Bitcoin more likely to go lower? Well, as we go into this chart right in over here, I do believe that there are potential conditions for a bear trap available here. Now, with that said, what would it take to actually confirm that and what would that mean for price action? Well, on CME chart right here, we have something very important. We have a nice gap from 62,000 all the way down to about 61.3. And I'll just mark it off with a nice little red arrow right there. And the reason why this is relevant is because if Bitcoin can pop back above that region, I would not be looking for further downside targets. I would be looking at this as very likely to float its way back onwards and upwards. And we can talk about moon boy targets more immediately rather than later. Again, remember all of this we have planned for over the past week, week and a half, ever since Bitcoin hit new all time highs, it has well been essentially the preconceived condition that we're looking for a higher low on the daily, and this is good. This is perhaps an opportunity. Also to further this condition as well, I wanna bring you back on over here into what we refer to as CVD, cumulative volume delta. And we can see that shorts are being, or sorry, yes, shorts are being more aggressive. We see a net market sell of about 108 and a half billion with a B on the board right there. And that's been very consistent over the past few days. Now I'm gonna go into a much more detailed analysis on my channel a little bit later, which you're more than welcome to join in on. However, for right now, if Bitcoin does pop back above this level right here, specifically on CME and spot price action is more or less trading parity or very close to parity at $62,000, then yes, I would say that we're having a bear trap and well, we can look onwards and upwards but until that happens, any sort of a short term bounce, which, you know, Bitcoin, as we did say yesterday, was likely to bounce within this region is likely just that. And I still do look for my opportunities a little bit lower again, somewhere around 55, 500 to reference yesterday's video. OK, with that in mind, let's get into the fun stuff today. Let's address the most important thing first. What are we looking at over here with the total to market cap, which I'll actually add a bit of a um, critique towards this metric at the end of this video. But as it goes, the, the market cap is going to be good enough to give us a general overview of the of the altcoin market health. And what do we have here? Obviously, my favorite thing of all time, higher lows, rising bottoms, if you will. Do you like your rising bottoms? I certainly do. And if we're talking about an alt season, this would be essentially the setup going on right here. The question is, and this will certainly relate to Bitcoin, of course, as well. Do we get a pullback first all the way down to, of course, this one and a quarter trillion level or not? If we do not, then, well, all is well and good from here. And that would imply that Bitcoin will complete the bear trap. And if and if not, then I would be looking again, essentially down around that region, which would just be, again, another higher low. OK, now let's get into the fun stuff, which is significantly more important. Let's address something of which you probably know where I'm going with this. Five day volatility on the total to market cap representing the altcoin market cap only excluding Bitcoin. Well, what do we have right here? I've marked off with these vertical lines all of the times that we've seen relatively low volatility. In fact, right now, just for reference, we are currently at one spot, one nine percentile. And again, if you're new to this uh, to this explanation, you can understand volatility in layman's terms as essentially low volatility being a mean return, uh, being a mean reverting indicator is essentially designed to expand and volatility going up essentially means or implies that price action will be getting very, very violent. You typically expect those sort of reads during breakouts, big breakouts or big breakdowns. Let me give you an example as it's probably going to pull it in a little bit more. The only time we've seen lower volatility uh, respective uh, relative to what we're looking at right now is actually <laughs> November of last year, literally one year ago rather interesting as we are nearly towards uh, November right now. In fact, even look at this structure over here is relatively similar as well as the total to market cap was reapproaching the prior range highs. Anyways, 
what I'm marking off right here is that low volatility read. And as you can see, this one over the next uh, 60 days went about 65 and a quarter percent. Realistically, there was no you know real pullbacks from there. It was just continuation, 400 percent over the next 126 days. Again, still just continuation until what is currently about the highs at about 810 percent over the next 190 days. Not bad. And again, we are somewhat comparable or very comparable to that read right now. The time before that, to give you an insight and a bit of a range as to what to expect, is this over here from 2019. Uh, actually, yeah, late 2019 for about two to three months going, uh, yeah, actually 60 days here, uh, going about 121.5% before the old 2020 dump. <laughs> you know what I'm going with well, there. Anyways, the time before that was right on over here, producing over the next 115 days about a 159 and a quarter percent move. And the time and a couple more times before that that we'll go over i don't want to bore you too much with this but it was right here in november 2017 that infamous altcoin rally for about a little over 700 percent uh, within 70 days and the time before that was of course the big bad breakout in march of that same year 2800 percent in 115 days and again didn't really pull back until well i mean that's 10,000 percent i'm not even we're going to put a clickbait title on this most likely. Is it going to be 10,000%? I think that's even a little bit too much, to be honest with you. Anyways, with that in mind, we do have, again, very, very low volatility right here. So let's, uh, let's also match this up with a bit of a technical structure that we have here. Now, what do we have going on? As I go to my other chart right here, we do have a very bastardized version of a cup and handle with this being your cup portion, this being your little handle. It's like, here's my teapot, here's my spout. <laughs> is that like a worldwide thing or is that just an American thing? I don't know. Anyways, um, I have to ask my girlfriend. Uh, she's Finnish and well, I live in fin Finland. So anyways, um, anyways, that will have a technical target and guess where it is? That is all the way up to two trillion, actually a nice round, even and psychological number. You also notice that that's directly in line with the one spot 618 Fibonacci extension right here as well. So great confluence. But as always, when coming out of a macro base like this, I very rarely, if ever, see tops at the one spot 618 Fibonacci extension. I do see a lot of pullbacks around that region. Very likely does play down to one spot 75, maybe even all the way down to one and a half trillion, assuming that that target is met. But long term, I would be looking significantly higher. Now, if we were to take the percentage gains from that breakout as well and measure them up to the one spot 618, I think it becomes a lot more clear that that would be quite an outlier on the downside as far as results go in comparison to the five day volatility. That would only be 42.5%. So, if we were to go with kind of the average of what we saw there, I mean, obviously that was just ridiculous numbers, but let's just play around with, the, with even a more muted response on that, which was about 100%. Where does that put it? somewhere around the two spot 272, which is just above 3 trillion. And if we were to play all the way up to the 2618, that would be about 185%. And that's kind of where I'd be looking for. And now we're talking realistically months down the road. We're talking probably early 2022, if that. I don't think that this would uh, go higher than 2 trillion by end of this year. And of course, this comes with a condition. So here is the very important part of this video. Until you do see until you do see very specifically here, this is incredibly important to understand, until you do see a weekly closure above one, let's, let's say one spot four, seven trillion. And we will have a chance to do that actually at the end of this week. This is, you know, this is just a setup. It's not actionable, at least in the way that I look at things, obviously. And of course, can it be negated? Are there invalidation conditions? Yes. Well, the problem is it hasn't been validated yet, but are there invalidation conditions? Absolutely. And that would be for the medium term below one and a quarter trillion on a daily closure. Below there, I would be looking for further downside first before anything else, very likely looking back down towards about a trillion even, and then we'll come back to it after that. I would imagine Bitcoin, that would imply Bitcoin is breaking you know, well below um, 50,000 at that point. So. Uh, obviously anything's possible. I don't think it's that probable right now, at least it's not my main disposition. And of course, again, we will be going over Bitcoin in detail on my channel a little bit later after, uh, after getting through this video. Okay. A couple more things that I want to kind of put in the, uh, in, in the, uh, visual view here. And that would be on my, yes, my air pack chart over here. Ha, there we go. And I'm referencing this, the monthly stochastic, which is just a momentum oscillator. Don't need to understand much more than that. 
um, just tells you about momentum essentially. And for reference, we have been having downside momentum ever since essentially April highs actually. So this represents the macro. And we're gonna have a chance to actually turn momentum back up with any sort of a closure at the end of this month, which the month is just a few days away now. Uh, that's gonna be Sunday actually at 8 p.m. Eastern time. It will turn back up and also hold within the bullish control zone if we close above 1.131 trillion. We are currently significantly higher than that right now, actually. So that would look very good coming into obviously November. So realistically, this if if this setup is to come to fruition, I imagine it probably happens sometime around early to middle of November. Um, and also one last thing here. If we go back to this chart, I do want to address this as well. Very similar to Bitcoin setup. If the total to market cap does close above the top side Bollinger Band here. Again, it's just another way looking at volatility. We'd have volatility, trend continuation, and momentum all turning up at the same time. And any time that I see an asset trending above the top side Bollinger Band, I look for that trend to continue. As we have been holding that one, two, three, four, working on month or bi-monthly number five. The last time that we did this was a phenomenal run over here of won't say that number, but you can look on the screen and uh, and there you go. Anyways, I should address one counterpoint to looking at market cap because it is a very crude calculation that is market cap. It's just, you know, the supply multiplied by the last price. And in a market where you can have a ton of uh, <laughs> interesting types of coins, <laughs> right? You know, some are great, some are not, uh, not so compelling, we'll say. Well, in that sort of a market, uh, it does not necessarily fully represent the total value that is liquid within this market. So, you know, has it been working in the past? Yes, I do believe well enough, but I just wanted to address that right there. Of course, I also want to remind you, um, you know, we do have our Bybit link in the description below. Do not trade if you do not have experience. It, do not certainly trade on leverage if you don't have experience. I mean, you saw what happened, of course, over here. This is, you know, going to happen uh, over and over again as long as people continue to be over leveraged. Um, it's just there for you, you know, if you want to get that deposit bonus essentially. And we will be having a TA and uh, Trading 101 playlist coming out uh, soon because I've actually finished it, which I'm really, really happy with. So with that in mind, I want to wish you well. I want to also say have a nice and happy rest of your Thursday. We'll be back on tomorrow and take care.